Peace, light, and love, YouTube. It is your man, Jay Farrow. Here to do a read with Marjorie. Got the T's, the Chosen Ones, 144 Oracle deck. Um, I hope all is going well uh, within the Divine Kingdom, all the kings and queens, uh, divine royalty in the house. Um, so uh, I just want to encourage you to keep on keeping on with your path, your destiny, your purpose. Do not let anyone and their skepticism, anyone and their uh, critiques of you and your truth and how you are walking in your truth hinder you. Realize that when you are speaking strongly and you are standing 10 toes down on what you believe in and what you know God is giving you as your truth and your message to the world, there are going to be people who are going to uh, resist that message. They will come up as opposition. Maybe they mean well. But, you know, just naturally, there are going to be those who are not going to uh, really see um, what God's message is that you are communicating. You know, they might get caught up on um, certain things or get lost in interpretation. Uh, you know, kind of looking at things from a different angle that's kind of skewing their accurate perception of what your message is. And, and hey, for what it's worth, there's going to be people who might see your message accurately and still just take a problem up with it. And um, that is just has to be okay, right? You know, we, we don't, we don't concern ourselves with uh, others' approvals of what God has given us to communicate as our message, you know? So uh, I want to just give that bit to you because I, I as I progress in my journey here, um, as I continue to uh, really tap into what God has been telling me to, to reach out and to preach out. And uh, <clears throat> I've been doing that uh, more and more, really investing myself in that. And I have, you know, naturally been having conversations and interactions with others where I'm seeing that, you know, it's a strong message to, 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 to teach and to speak on uh, the, the, the purpose of a chosen one. You know, it's something or uh, the purpose of someone who's anointed uh, to, to, to do works on the planet um, that may uh, be, uh, you know, um, may be, it may seem fantastical to many because it is fantastical. It's the work of God. It is fantastical. Um, you know, and it's something that, you know, you may be very humble in your delivery and very humble in your approach, um, but still very uh, confident and sure in what God has told you to speak um, and what you to know as your truth and what is your truth. Um, and, you know, that that can that can affect people in many ways. So I'm just here to encourage you to, you know, speak your truth, deliver your message and, you know, do your work, be about your business. Be about, you know, your brand um, for, and what that means for you living in your purpose, you know, and what that means for you doing the work God has given you, assigned you as your work. I'm here and I got my three cards right on top. Okay. Beautiful messages. Okay. All right. So, again, to it, synchronicities. We got uh, 222, 333, 444. 555, 11, 11, 10, 10. I love 11, 11. Um, I was seeing 222 two, two earlier today, and I see 333 a lot. 444, four, four, I saw earlier today. You said 555, five, 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 I saw on the clock. Actually, I got I ran to a meeting, a 6 o'clock meeting at 555, and I saw it on, on the, on the uh, phone just a moment ago. You know, so um, 10, 10, you know, 10 represent completion of cycles and beautiful things. So synchronicities, um, I believe that we are being encouraged to to see what the divine is communicating to us, because you know, oftentimes the divine will communicate in, excuse me, in synchronicities that we um, we encounter, that we observe um, in our life throughout the days, you know, throughout the weeks, our dreams and synchronicities. If you're if you're hearing a phrases or you're seeing um, some type of pattern, um, or you're experiencing events that kind of seem related to each other, where they're mirroring each other, what have you, those are synchronicities, right? So pay attention to those synchronicities and see what you are being shown. If you read in between the lines, what is that that message? What is that pattern you're seeing? What does that mean for you? Um, you know, how can you use that? What, what knowledge is in there for you to use, right? So synchronicities, I love it. And also in the messages that you're getting, you know, if you're looking at various readers and, you know, you're picking up on that, you know, several readers within a week's time frame have started to all talked about um, something new that's kind of occurring in life or all kind of picking up on the energy. I love doing that. I really like big confirmation, right? Big time when you've got, you know, some of your main readers, the, uh, something new or something different kind of 
brewing in your life or comes up in your life, an event happens that's a little outside the norm, and they all pick up on it. And it's really cool, it's like confirmation that hey, yeah, this energy is at hand. Um, and how to think about the energy, how to frame your mind and your approach, how to you know frame your approach to a situation or event. We have time to shine. I love this. this I love that this uh, card came out because this is very related to um, my introduction of this video when I was talking about, you know, you speaking in your truth and you um, standing 10 toes down and being uh, honest to what God is giving you and what is your truth, you know, um, staying true to your kingdom, staying true to um, the royal being that you are. You know, saying a lot of times people don't understand, you know, who we truly are in the uh, hierarchy of, uh, of 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 the DNA on the planet, you know, and and it's and it's 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 really like it's not something to come from a place of you know being you know not humble enough. Um, it's really just being uh, truthful and realistic enough uh, to understand the truth, you know. So it's time to shine, you know, time to shine. And this is something that has been a big message for all of us for a while now, right? But it's requiring work though, right? It's requiring that labor to uh, birth the uh, the new evolution of ourselves, um, the amazing realities that God's providing for us because we have been through the, the trials and tribulations that have brought us to this point. We're still surviving. People look at us and don't realize who we are and what we've been through. You know, they don't. They have no idea. You know, saying the last time they they like to to think things that are underestimating us. The last time they view us and they wonder who is he or she or who are they to uh, to have this perception of themselves or to feel as entitled as they seem to come across. What is the source for that confidence? What is the truth, truthful foundation uh, for that confidence? You know, for that for that uh, that them being so sure of themselves or that message being so grand. You know, how, where do they get that grand message from? You know, and I uh, want to question so much about us. Um, and it's all really irrelevant. They can question till they turn, you know, orange and pink and purple and green and all Roy G. Beef, all Roy G. Biv up in the house in the face. They can question that much. And it does not matter. It does not matter because um, our truth is sourced from God. The light we are shining, that it's time to shine, this is the light of God. It matters not what another human is going to think about the godliness within you. It matters not. There's levels to this. It's levels to it. So, but when you when it's time to shine, then what are you going to have? You're going to have those who are going to praise and welcome you, and you're going to have you know everything else still attracted to the light. Those who uh, who may be attracted but yet want to challenge. Uh, those who um, might see the light and, you know, they just naturally are going to have certain questions or thoughts um, about the, the legitimacy of the light and the message and what have you. So, you know, know that we, we are being edified. You know, we are here doing a great work of God um, and <clears throat> it's not going to rub everybody the right way. And that's OK. It's not meant to rub everyone the right way. A lot of us have been sent here because our messages are going to sound taboo. Our messages are going to sound out there, otherworldly, very left field. And that's what they're supposed to sound like. That's what, those are the perceptions people are supposed to have because that's God's plan. That's the divine plan. That's why we're here. And a lot of times, a lot of times that means we're going to shake things up. A lot of times we're going to shake things up. And we're going to uh, present ideas that seem fantastical. And we're going to seem like we are speaking way more grandly than we may be qualified to. Because who are we? And many people are going to question that. But you have to know who God says you are. And that's it. Point blank, period. Who God says you are is your truth. Who you are is your truth. I am because I am. I am that I am. I love it. Time to shine. Now, are we always going to be right? Are we always going to have all the facts? No. A lot of people think, oh, you so you're an anointed one, so you know everything. You're an encyclopedia. You have, you know how people do, and it's so like, are you still, how, how underdeveloped are you if you think that spiritual ranking, spiritual enlightenment comes with uh, the, the, the 5D, excuse me, that the 3D world, the materialistic world, is um an indicator of uh, someone's spiritual path or spiritual truth you know when you know 
you know. And when you know, you know that uh, oftentimes those with, with very high spiritual purposes um, and spiritual connections with the higher heavenly realms um, are going to be um, in positions in the physical world where you may not look like that is a person uh, um, highly favored by God. By intention, by design. And a lot of times, as chosen ones, those with these uh, particular special anointings, we are born into uh, very tough, challenging, burden, and dare I say it, cursed realities, cursed bloodlines. You know, we got the generational curse of breaker. It's a lot of time that is our role. And people don't understand. If you don't know what we've been through and what we come through, what, how we garnered the knowledge and wisdom that we have. This, no matter anything else. It's time to shine regardless. So, and the thing is, you know, a lot of us may have been waiting for the light, waiting for the, you know, the reality of our purpose to really kick in and, uh, and walk in our truths. And now for us, I know many of us have to be seeing, oh, this is why God had me wait. Because the influence it's, it's, it's powerful. The, the light is powerful in how things react to the light, how things react to the influence, how the messages strike others. You have to be ready for it. You have to be ready for it. And that's something I can, it's easily said, but you know, I still pray and embrace myself every day, all the time. I, I can do that more and I strive to do it more because I'm, I'm realizing you know, that this is something that I need God every bit of every fragment of every second. Of, of existence I need God all throughout every part of existence Because it is something so uh, powerfully uh, uh, It's a powerful undertaking uh, to, to, to go forth as a communicator of God And really step into your God-given truth and reality When you have an anointing You know what I'm saying? Far from perfect Far You know But you know, I still respect myself and I still know that God is God regardless of any action I take or have taken or will take you know time to shine last card out is earth angel healer you know earth angel and healer when you come a lot of times as the angel is the healer uh, on planet earth there's a lot that we experience that it's very tough. There's a lot of work to do to heal. You know, it's a quite a response is quite a responsibility. And, you know, I'm really praying to, to do well with what God has given me, to be a good steward of what God has given me and what an honor it is to to help heal others, right? It's a blessing. And I hope that God is with us as we strive to understand ourselves as earth angels, as earth healers, to really understand what that means and to not be bogged down with the criticisms and judgments of others, uh, the negativity that people have in our presence. Many, uh, many, many uh, times they cannot control themselves. It's just a reaction to um, the energy that we carry. And it's kind of, you know, I'm not going to lie to you to, to continue to profess these messages. It can become tough because you're saying things that a lot of people, when they hear them, they, they, they push, out a, push out negativity. It's like they vomit negativity out of themselves um, because people want to criticize and judge and, and find reasons to um, discredit a, a message of greatness when it comes from a human. They wanted to evaluate and assess the human and get some rubric they feel like they are entitled to have to assess someone's worthiness for, you know, spiritual enlightenment. To put you on their scale to see how much you weigh in spiritual enlightenment and spiritual grandness. How much do you weigh in being entitled to say what you're saying and the messages you're delivering? Instead of going to God and asking for the God to provide the truth. And a lot of times people feel like they do. They feel like they did. They have gone to God and got some discrediting message or things. But, you know, it matters not. 
It matters not. We do our work on this planet. When you are healing and you are doing work of angels, you are going to come across a lot of opposition. That's the way, how earth is. So I want to encourage us all with 15.05 on the clock to keep on keeping on. You know what I'm saying? To, to enjoy your truth. Enjoy your life. Know that great things are happening for us. We have gone through so much. This collective, we have gone through so much. And we are surviving. We have survived. We are still here. And we are shining. We are stronger than ever. And that's such a blessing. Because God knows we could have been gone. We could have been dead and gone. But we are still here. And we are shining. And we will keep trying. And we are keeping on, keeping on. We are going to continue to build. We are going to continue to trust God. Continue to uplift and to edify our ancestors. And to be grateful. We are continuing to be humble. And stand ten toes down strong in our message. Speaking our truth, even if our voices shake. No, we may not know it all. And may no, we may not ever know it all. But we are still the royalty that we are. We are still... The chosen ones that we are. Our truth is still our truth. I am that I am. Well, I got the right answer or no answer or whatever answer I got. It's not going to change who I am. And that's that. Right? Much love, fam. Until next time. Peace.